Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. So today we're back outside and we're going to be doing a watercolour painting of these rust red, red poll breed cattle. Now if you're a regular viewer of the channel you'll remember that I've already done a painting of cattle of this type quite recently and this is the same herd just on a different day. Well in fact that's not quite true, it's actually on the same day, just a different painting, different styles of stuff is what I meant to say. So the cattle, you know, one of the great reasons for painting cows is they stay fairly still. You can see we've got several lying down here or they come and stand near the fence as you can see there. But they change and they interact with each other all the time. So, you know, the, the pose I'm painting, they're lying down. Uh, I've, got, I've got one that's standing there that I'm also going to include. And I'm starting out with a sketch using a Sharpie pen on some mixed media paper. And these, on this particular day, this was actually filmed back in May, you can see it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. The sun's kind of beaming in towards me, so the, the cattle, the steer, are almost silhouetted. So the Sharpie pen is kind of perfect for that, kind of just, you know, getting the contours of the animals down and just blocking in those great big blocks of shadow. And it's also a really quick way to work. And then along the horizon line there, you can see I've included a little bit of the tree line. It's not an exact replica, but I've just tried to capture the feeling of the tree line. And then a few little uh, squiggly lines on the, to capture some of the flora on the, in the field there. And that's the finished sketch done. Just A4 on mixed media paper, like I said. So that's the sketch I just did. That's the sketch from the video from uh, probably about a month ago now on the channel. You can check that one out if you want. And this, then this one was a rather different style. Uh, you can see me having a go at doing that one just here. And the, the steer were kind enough to just come right up to the fence, pop their heads through and have a look at me uh, while I was standing there at the edge of the field. And so it's really good. You know, horses tend to like wander off on their own. Uh, deer are very, very elusive. But cattle, fairly well behaved on the whole, I would say. Anyway, so now I'm back on a different day. I think this was in August. The weather conditions are rather different, but nevertheless, the, 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 uh, the herd is still there, the field is obviously still there. So I've taped my completed drawing onto a piece of board and just applied a sort of textured wash of watercolour to the sky with a flat brush and then swept away some of that with a paper towel. And now I've switched to a round brush and you can see I'm just kind of rolling that across, that green colour, to fill in with some nice expressive mark making that the watercolour allows us to do so quickly and easily to fill in some of the foliage off on that far edge of the field. And you can see I'm ch I've changed my greens from kind of bluey greens to the, the warmer ochre green on the right. And again I've lifted some of that off to just make it a bit fainter, push it off into the distance a bit. Now I'm coming in with my big flat brush again, I guess it's about an inch wide applying some sweeping horizontal brush strokes to fill in the field. Again, I'm going to come in with the paper towel, just lift off some of that stuff in the foreground and remove it from the animals for the most part. And now a warmer, more yellowy green for the very near part of the field, for the, you know, the foreground, the, the real foreground. And again, I'm sweeping these washes over the animals uh, without a care in the world, really, because the Sharpie marker pen, that's not going anywhere, that's permanent. So you have to be a bit bold with your drawing, but once it's there, of course, you don't have to worry. And then again, I'm lifting that off of the animals while it's still wet. So the background's established, coming in to try and capture this beautiful red-brown colour that these, these steer have. So I'm starting with kind of a fairly bright orange, really, and that's going to be my highlight colour. So just using my flat brush, the rectangular shape of the brush allows me to quickly fill in the animals but the corner of the brush allows me to get in all the fiddly bits as well. So it's quite a good and efficient way of doing it. So I'm just filling in the animals there and then having got the highlight colour down now I've switched to a deeper more reddish more rust coloured brown and I'm using that for the mid-tone. Just leaving exposed the, you know, the highlights where um, the drawing is telling me because of course the cattle aren't lying in this position now and it's a little although the sun's just come out as you can see with the, the, the cast shadows across the painting there from the long grass um, it's a little bit more of a cloudy day 
So I've kind of filled in, leaving the highlights where my previous drawing was telling me to do so. And now I'm adding a little bit of that rust red into the colour of the field where there's maybe some exposed earth, maybe there are some dried up grasses there. And again, just lifting those off in that region, just so it's a little, you know, a little softer, basically. So working over the course of two very different days, months apart, I quite like the adventure actually because the drawing is an expression of what I saw on that day. But then when I come back to the scene, as I say, even though the cattle are there, the lighting's different, there are clouds in the sky, very different feel. So you get this kind of amalgamation of the, the two experiences. And of course, there's a little bit of imagination going in there as well. As you can see, I'm kind of doing a little bit of dry brush, a few expressive marks, a few wisps of grass, just to include some texture in the foreground there. And now the background has dry, dried up, so you know I can use the point of my brush to add just a few little wispy details. You don't want to overdo it because you want to keep those trees looking distant. And then next up I'm making the cattle even darker, so going with more of a deep brown now to enhance the shadows. And then having worked on the foreground, back to the background again. But this time with my flat brush, just adding little bits of texture. So this layered way of working is of course one of the wonderful qualities of watercolour because generally speaking the layers of paint that we put down are very translucent and so you can build up you know, regions of different colour and texture by overlaying very thin layers of paint. So the other good thing with the Sharpie is of course that it's, you know, it's kind of quite difficult to cover with um, watercolour. So if you're fairly happy with your initial drawing, that's going to show through and also continually inform your painting. So you know, that could be quite an advantage, I feel. So while I was chatting away there, I just switched to a fairly warm yellow, just putting in a hint, a few hints of some flowers, um, you know, maybe some dandelions or something in the field, like in the bottom right there, or where the cows are sniffing around. And then I kind of felt for the second day that we're in now, I felt that the sky was a little too blue, needed a few more clouds, a bit more atmosphere perhaps. So I started to roll in this rather deep, somewhat ominous purple. And having done that to the, the right-hand corner of the, of the sky, I thought, well, it's perhaps a bit heavy. So once again, I switched to the paper towel and kind of lifted and rubbed off most of that. But after I'd done it, uh, I kind of I just left a hint. Of, it just left a hint of purple in that right hand part of the sky, and I felt that worked better than just the pure blue that I had before. Just a little bit of a change of, of mood going from right to left as we go across the sky there. So we started on a very bright sunny day, uh, but as I said, a little, little cloudier, a bit almost a little bit overcast really today. So just adding a few more, uh, you know, little hints of branches and little, you know, wispy bits of hedges and things off in the background. Now, you know, this field, although it's, that's, that's my horizon line, or that was a train off in the distance you could hear there. Um, although that's my horizon line, it's not actually all that far away. So, you know, if it had been, you know, uh, much, much further away, I would have put a lot more blue into those distant trees. But for this particular scene, the colours I've got are fairly appropriate. So just, just further darkening the cattle. So, you know, we've had a bright day. As I was saying, you can see it's a little more overcast. You can see some of the clouds in the sky. That's what sort of inspired the purple. The cattle are off in the far corner now. I'm not sure if you can see them on screen. Um, and here are a few close-ups of the brushwork. So that's that one pretty much done. Hope you really enjoyed this little video. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And subscribe. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.